Hello, and welcome to the Madniverse. Today we're going to further explore Night in the Woods. It's been quite some time since we came back to see May. So last time we engraved it with Bia, so now we're going to see what else everybody has to say. I yeah, got three messages. Morning. At the pickaxe, if you're in town center today... I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Alright. Hey, dude. At the old snow uh, Snowkin. Snowkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message, still. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Oh, yeah, you said that already, though. That was the last time you... What? It's the same away message. Oh well. <laughs> Just had to click on that. Alright. Let's go ahead downstairs and possibly be meet mom like always. She's always down there at the table. Mom, you here? There you are. Boop. Quiet. Honey, are you okay? I don't know where the heck I put R in there, but yeah. Ugh. Mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then you, well, there you were. Oh, that's pretty sad though. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby, can we just leave? <laughs> okay, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> that's a that's a deeper conversation right there about being pregnant. A little too much to know, and no, we did not do anything to elicit that. We just grave digged, basically. Didn't find much of use except for the shadow on the way, way back. Hey. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Yeah, sure. I know, we're always in favor for poems. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up. They did. Yay! <laughs> uh, some hot dogs in the backyard, huh? That ain't a bad idea. Could always go for a dog. No? Now it's just making me hungry. Uh, can't do anything at, you know, what, 3.18 a.m.? Can't do any grilling. Alright, so it's basically the same places, so nothing there, and everybody's always standing outside that one. Um, oh, pickaxe! Bia! Hey, yo! Hey, Bia! Hey, you alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you want to do. 
Yeah, why not? Proximity. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Oh, we're in the car. So what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party. What's a Jackie party? My same question. You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. Uh, either one don't matter. This one? Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Anyway, this is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you! I'm going to secret parties and shit? They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invited you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. Apparently she's been before, so she knows. Well, well, hopefully we'll have a good time here. I think I went here once, in Girl Scouts, to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? What even was that play? Yeah, let's go with that. Corvin the Thief. Old, kind of obscure. Slick little barn cat. Lived in the woods, where no one could find him. But then he stole a diamond or something from the local king and got a railroad to death. Ooh, oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, right. Yep. There's a whole second part where he's a ghost, but they never perform that one. Poor ghost cat. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Hmm. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie! Oh, hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May? Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in. It's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Papa Tease. Papa Tease, huh? Interesting place to call a pizza place. It's new to me. <laughs> People come up with some interesting names to call places, though. I wonder where that game stop and that came from, though. Just a thought. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. We're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. Why? We know him. He's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. See ya. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. Yeah, we don't want to happen. What happened in the woods that long time ago? You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can like anyone here dance? It's probably a true question. I know I can't. I kind of have rhythm, but in dancing, no, 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 no. 
I'd be probably doing the sprinkler or something stupid like that. <laughs> Not bad, though. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we could do some things. Hands in the air! <laughs> Hopping and skipping, that's nice. Anything else? Nope, I think that's all I've got. I've got like three different kinds of moves here. Whatever this is. Ooh, waving my hands. And this hop skipping. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> oh, found another one. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I can, I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. With an eye shot. Okay, I'll, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. Bia, I know. No, seriously, if any. Bia, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, dancing. <laughs> Who knew May had some moves? I wish there was anything else I could do though, but I guess that's all I've got. So I have four moves total. Right on beat too. That works. Oh, dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Oh, I guess I'm running now. Hey yo. Hey you. Hey you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borowski. Samantha Stevenson. Let's go with Samantha. Samantha. I like it. It sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So that's your story, Samantha Stevenson. Oh, what's your story, I guess. I'm a grad student studying, uh, vampires, and I play bass. I'm a college dropout, a ghost chasing me, and I recently met God. Let's go with the first one. Sounds a more better. I like that one. Sounds more better. Oh man, my grammar's even coming off. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, it's just a regular bass guitar. Yep, vampire science. Oh yeah. What does that entail? Fang measurement, being up all night, going to a lot of goth dork parties. It's why I'm here tonight. There aren't a lot of goth dorks here. I know, total bust. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm so used to the awesome stuff that I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh really? Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. I don't know if I want to do this. Can I back away? I guess I guess I have to. It's not working now. <laughs> eh. It's not it's not working. I don't get it. Stop. There we go. What the? Okay, I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow. Okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh, yeah, you should. Samantha. Ha. <laughs> Hexed again. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll be here. Wow. Okay. Be right back. And away we go. Be ya. Where are you? There you are. Hey, Be ya. Oh, yeah, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend Bia is pretty cool. Aw, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit. 
What's that? Yeah, yeah. Sick transit, Glora nerd. Uh, yeah, what is that? Remember you were gonna die here? Jeez, does anyone need help with that? <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Be, uh, Triss? That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you liked. I like ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. Okay. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me. Before he got dementia and died. That was pretty sad. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. Bia's mom is dead too. Jeez, that's not the best thing to do. She just keeps laughing. May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring, but my house exploded oh. because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that. What? Because we were going to move. Hmm. And dad said he had to come with us. That's, that's kind of nice in some way. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? Poly science. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college. Just cause something's interesting. Bia, Bia, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bag groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you wanna dance some more? Sure. Ah, I'm good. Ah. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language, get us free slices. Bia doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, Bia. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Bia knows all about business. Hey Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Santello. Let's go with this one. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west, in the mountains. While Rich Kid over here is studying poli uh, politicians or whatever, Bia's out here in the real world. Not like you college kids. May! What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow's country? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, be here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah! What? Yeah, I am! I'm... <laughs> Bia, what the? Bia, wait! Uh oh. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Bia, come back! Bia. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God. Uh, now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her. 
make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> back in school. I always told Bia that you were an asshole. And I really thought I, that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, Bia? The roofs? Can get to the rivers quickly on the roofs. What? Um. How do. Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks! No! I need to get up on the roof! You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down? You F off? <laughs> Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I want to call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, psych uh, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously? I'm about to... You're about to what? <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Ah, we'll be fine. She's done this a many a times. Just gotta... Get on these. There we go. Woohoo! Yeah, where are you? Uh, I don't know how far she is. I don't know where she went. It's pretty bad. But mentioning the stuff that we did probably wasn't really the best idea. But uh, what can you do? I guess May didn't really understand about the help that Bia needed at that point. Basically saying, but she was lying, saying that she was in school when she wasn't, which is never a good thing. Bia! There you are! Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town, and you don't even know what... This was my party. The, uh, these are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal? You could have been like mugged or something. This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. This is so sad. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away. And like an idea, and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight, and you, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. That's not fair. 
I had no idea about any of this. It's true. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family. And my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in a stupid hardware store. In that stupid town. I'm just... doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up in that thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. That's true, I guess. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well that's illuminating. Oh shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh huh. Ah. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. But better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like, it's okay. We're like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> what river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land keep, get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd fr be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts. Like, uh, is this just... What's the word? Proximity? Yeah! I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to talk good. <laughs> well, you've done it once, so you should know not to do it again. Bia, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. Bia, I am like more embarrassing than you ever will be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And that, and you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Mountain would say? Fountain, I guess. What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good god, the fake one. <laughs> Crap, I didn't get her info. Ooh, the super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. <laughs> Ah, uh, that wasn't too bad. Nope. What's up, Pop? Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. 
where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you go get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Mally. Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's something up there watching? Someone. Hey, I just hope so anyone's watching at this time slot. Eh. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Charbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't inve uh, invented religion yet. You were making it up as we got along, as we went along. Okay, so all you think there's a god, right? We should have po uh, potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. Yeah, could, Maloy. But it would be a whoopa. Eh, jokes aren't all that great. <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Okay. Alright. To bed we go to go to these mysterious dreams that we've been having. Because I'm sure another one is going to happen, like always. Alright. Well, I guess we could see what's up on here first. All right. Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from the night. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Aw, oh, it was nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. Oh, boy. I can think of worse fates. <laughs> hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd rather party again. We did two. Uh, we need to do more parties. Are you very bright? Uh, you are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Later's. All right. Go ahead and get some sleep. Bedtime. Yes. Well, there's that safe still, and I still have no idea how to get into it. Not a clue. Not a clue. Oh. No dream tonight. That's what is not something I was expecting. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and end this here. Uh, it's another day, another trying to figure out what's going on. Still had, like, I guess another fight with Bia, in a way. It just seems to be a lot of fights. I don't know. A lot of it ends up that way.
and there's not much I don't know what to do about it. Yeah, I guess it's more figuring out the story of why Bia wanted to go to the party, but then when she just mysteriously ran away, I was wondering why too. It's very interesting. But now we know. But I'm not sure how much more there is to this, but um, I guess we'll find out later. So, thank you for joining me for this adventure. I'll see you guys for the next adventure. Bye.